Hey, Hawaiian and straight back. Yo. So, yesterday was a pretty swag game for gaming news. Or, sorry, swag day for gaming news. Who here is also excited about Hisuian Voltorb? Yo, Hisuian Voltorb. Who, okay. Okay. I don't think it's possible. Or I, I don't think this is going to happen, but what... What do you th guys think would happen if Hisuian Voltorb had two evolutions, right? If it had uh, the blue ball, <laughs> blue ball. <laughs> and it turned into the heavy ball, you know? Imagine that. I mean, I don't, I don't really expect it at all, but like that would be pretty cool. I want to be honest, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, yesterday, uh, Hisuian Voltorb. I pipe. There's rumors there might be a Hisuian Sneasel as well. Ooh. I never really cared for a Sneasel as a Pokemon, to be honest. Oh, speaking of Sneasel, hold on. Let me open up Pokemon Go. Yeah, so Pokemon Go is doing, like, this, uh... Uh, fucking... What's it called? It's called a Heritage Event. Obviously based off of Sinnoh. Hisuia. Whatever it's called. But I've not gotten a fucking Sneasel spawn. Wait, go away. Okay. Oh, wait. wait oh. Aw, oh, never mind. Okay. Yeah, I need to get a Dragonair in the wild, a Vibrava in the wild, and also a Sneasel. And none of those things are spawning, and the event ends in three days. Like, what the fuck? Why? Why is it giving these impossible spawns? Yeah, Season of Heritage, that thing. Yeah, so I don't know when it started, but um, it ends in, like, I think two days? Let me check. It also has, like, an impossible amount of, like, Stardust to collect. Oh, yeah, it ends in two days and 16 hours. I need a Sneasel, Vibrava, and Dragon... Dragonair. No, wait. Yeah, Drag... Wait. The second one. Uh, Dragonair's, what's the first one called? Hold on. It's called, well, whatever, it, it's, it's the one before Dragonite, so that one. We were lucky enough to finish it in two days, yeah. Like, I, I went out walking, because I had to go do something, I had to go get my shot, um, my, my booster and I caught most of the Pokemon but those are just like normal spawns I don't have the Vibrava I don't have the Dragonair and I don't have Sneasel none of those things have spawned Give me you did have a lot of time oh Dratini yeah Dratini is the small one so Dragonair is the middle one and Dragonite's the big one yeah so yeah, thank you for reminding me to check it, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I actually am excited for that game. I think I'll pass on buying the Sinnoh remake. Um, maybe until it gets cheaper or whatever. But... Um, yeah, I'm actually... I really am excited for the Legends game. Like... It looks like it's going to play basically just like Pokemon, just with, like, added features. So it's like, alright, I'll try it out, you know? I'll spend the money on that. But BDSP, I mean, like... Uh, there's not really much changed, and, like, everyone's going to complain about it, but, like, I'm not going to complain about it because I don't really care. I just think it's... Like, okay, like, if I had the money to buy BDSP... I would obviously make fun of it, and I would want to glitch hunt. I don't think I can glitch hunt anymore because I fixed stuff, but... Like, it wouldn't be a bad game. It's just, like, I'd rather... Since I don't, I don't make a lot of money, I'd rather put the money that I do make towards games that actually are probably worth my time, like uh, Arceus game. Alright, caught a Stunky. Alright, closing Pokemon Go. Oh, also, let me get some water, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back.
thought it was strange that the first two are blue eastern dragons, but then you have dragon knight, which is orange western dragon. You know what? I never thought about that. I wonder why that is, but that's very interesting. And like, yeah, I, like I'll still enjoy BDSP, but like, since I don't make a lot of money, I want to spend it on like a new experience. So uh, Legends Arceus will be the new experience and testing my audio is working. Cool. Okay. But yeah. Um, I th who was it that asked me what games? I think it was Hypnomancy and I don't think they're back yet. But, uh, yeah, somebody earlier, well, I guess it was yesterday at this point, but, uh, during my last stream, the Piposaru stream, somebody asked me what games do I plan on playing next, and I didn't have any idea because I wasn't prepared for that kind of question, but I did compile a list of games, uh, after my stream, the first stream. So first I listed off all the Ape Escape games in order. Uh, so Pipo Saru, still playing that. Then Ape Escape 2. Then Ape Escape Pumped and Primed. Um, then Ape Escape On the Loose, which is a PSP game. Um, I, I figured I might as well like play it since like it's still Ape Escape 1, even though it's going to feel different. But like it's not a bad game, it's just going to be different and I want to experience it. And then Ape Escape 3, which is my favorite Ape Escape game. And then Million Monkeys, which basically plays just like Pumped and Primed, except it's more focused on, like, other stuff. Um, and then, finally, Saru Saru Daisakusen on the PSP, the final Ape Escape game. I don't count the PS Move, and I don't count the Eye Toy, but yeah. Um, so I listed off those Ape Escape games. And then for Spyro Reignited, there's this mod. Here, actually, let me just show you guys this real quick. Uh, so, let's see. Spyro, Spyro Reignited Artisans mod. Oh. Yeah, so this mod, I played it on stream, like, back in 2019 or 2020. And it adds new stuff, but it's actually finished now, I think. So, like, I want to play it. Well, I want to replay it, I should say. Yo, Desolate Fox, thank you for raiding. Hey, I'm, uh... Well, I'm, I'm about to draw, but right now I'm showing off... Uh, a game I want to play. It's Spyro Reignited, but it's like a mod. Look at this. It's Nestor, but he's old school styled. So yeah, I want to play this. And uh, yeah, apparently that mod I played, that, that one stream was uh, old. Is there like a version history? Uh... Oh. So I need these two mods apparently. I don't know. That's not important. But yeah, I I want to play this. And then the other thing is uh here actually hold on. <laughs> hold on. Boop, 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 boop. So let's fox. What were you what were you playing? Oh, you were playing Monster Hunter World. Yo, well I hope you had fun. Yeah, I'm about to do some art in a second. But um Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, this is actually really cool, but uh, yeah, right here, there's a mod, there, there's a team uh, making a mod for Reignited, and they are, it, it's a whole remake of Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, but it's in the Reignited engine, and that's still work in progress, I don't expect it to be done by next year, but at some point, I do want to play this, and I'm so fucking excited. Like, you have no idea how excited I am for this. Because I actually do like Enter the Dragonfly. Even though, like, it's a painful to ex uh, to experience. Because I'm a completionist, and that game is not easy to complete. I mean, it's, it's not bad to complete, but there's 
parts of it that are challenging. So it'll be really fun to play it in reignited style. So I'm I'm pumped. Anyway, that was a long tangent. Um, the other games I plan on playing are uh, Pokemon Black Randomizer, Battle Network 2 Randomizer. I'll, I'll finish that at some point. And Mega Man Star Force DX. Oh, oh, and Ratchet and Clank Future A Crack in Time. And Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, so those are all the games that I'm going to play. All right, Banjo Kazooie. Okay. See, yep, no one asked, but they, that's, yep, that's that. Oh my fucking, ooh. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on. My hand hit my water cup. Uh, hopefully that didn't go inside the computer at all. But yeah, that likes I spilt a little bit on top of it. I think it's fine. But that was a little scary. Yeah. <laughs> like what would happen if like a little bit of water? Well, I mean, okay. Okay, that, that's a really stupid question, but the, the side that had the water spilt on it was closer to the edge. So it's like, it's not near, as far as I know, like the important parts. <laughs> it's more near like the fans and shit. So, um, I'm, I'm, you know what? It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Look at that. I took a sip of my water. It's no longer filled to the brim. So if I if I do hit it, it's it's fine, all right. It's fine. If I suddenly go offline, you know what happened, right? Honestly, I just started. I I, I don't have any plans. I was going to work on commissions, so let me pull up my Trello. Uh, there was an icon for somebody. I need to find out who it was for. And then digs B skunk stickers times five. So yeah, I got an icon to work on and I got stickers to work on. So fun, fun. Yeah, I guess let me just draw something on screen for you guys. I don't know what this guy is. He's just a happy dog guy. I hope you guys like him. Hey, Hypnomancy, you just missed my speech about what games I want to play on stream. Yeah, I, uh... When I started my stream, I was only awake for, like, three hours. So... Or maybe less, I don't remember. So, yeah, I'm back. I'm, I'm gonna do more art. Yeah, here, just to cut it short, let me just show this. So, Pipo Saru, I'm still playing that. Ape Escape 2, Ape Escape Pumped and Primed, Ape Escape On the Loose, which is a PSP game. It's a remake of the first game, but different. Then Ape Escape 3, which is my favorite one. Then Million Monkeys. Then Saru Saru Daisakusen, which is also the PSP game, the last one. Um, and then Spiral Reignited, I think this is finished, I need to ask around, but there's an Artisans mod. I did play it on stream back in, I think, early 2020 or late 2019, but this version is complete, so I want to, I want to check it out. And then this one's still work in progress, but there's an Enter the Dragonfly mod, um, that's work in progress, and I'm really excited for it, so that's gonna be swag. Uh, I want to play some Pokemon Black Randomizer on stream. I want to play more of Battle Network 2. Um, and I want to play more Mega Man Star Force DX. These both are, I haven't finished. But I've just not been in the mood to play RPGs. Um, Ratchet and Clank, A Crack in Time. I have it. 
but I don't have a PS3 controller, so I can't play the game until I get a controller for the PS3. And finally, my friend Katashi sent me his Xbox. Again, I had to buy a controller for that as well. But yeah, I want to play Rare Replay, which has Banjo-Kazooie. So I want to replay Banjo, Banjo-Tooie, uh, whatever. I forget what, what other games are on there, but I'll have a bunch of games to play on that. The controllers... I mean, they're not that expensive, but like it's collective. So I need one controller for the PS3, I need one controller for the Xbox One. I need a game, Rare Replay, for the Xbox One. That's like 25 bucks or whatever. I need, I, I, I want to get Pokemon Arceus. That's gonna be fucking expensive. Like. I just don't make enough money to get anything. Like all my money literally goes to getting food. Like I get, I, I cover rent, but then like all my extra money, it's like, yeah, I can save up for this. Oh no, Super Mega is releasing a book. I better buy that book now. Fuck. All right. I get, get, there goes my controller money. <laughs> Here. Oh, I made some more. Oh, never mind. I need food. Let me go buy six dollars worth of food. Oh, well, now that I lost all my money, I just have to take more commissions. Ah, now I have forty bucks. Woohoo! Oh wait, I need to buy this. It's a fucking cycle, I hate it. Anyway. Yes, I'm gonna work on commissions. Yeah. You're really excited to see me play Crack in Time? Yo, I am so excited to play that. I'm, I'm honest. I'm honest, bro. I'm honest. Like, as far as controllers, I'm wanting to get the PS3 controller first, because... I need to spend more money to be able to play on the Xbox than to play on the PS3. Because I've already bought in all the games I want on the PS3. Um, yeah, anyway. Let me look up the commission detail. Hey, Polar. Yo, what the hell? Have a nice death is trending on Twitter. Hopefully it was a Republican that died. All right, where is... Yo, oh, there's my messages. Okay. I think it was for Slush Dog. Okay, okay, I found it. I found it, I found it. Oh yeah, Nova Scotia. Ah, we good. Right, so... Lachai. So they wanted an icon kind of like... Getting these ads on your wet weather app that's like, Get Twitter! And that's it. Except you do have it. That's, uh... Hey, just be glad that they're not aware that you already have it, you know? You'd rather have an ad for something you already have than have an ad for something you talked about in person. And then suddenly you're seeing it on your phone like, huh, that's weird. I wonder why this phone is suggesting that I buy a PS3 controller after just complaining that I don't have enough money to buy... PS3 controller. It's so crazy. I wonder why it's doing that. You know? Alright, right. So they wanted... Uh... <laughs> I know I'm drawing wild dog shapes, but, uh, it's not wild dog, it's somebody else. Hold on, what details did they want? I think they just wanted, like, a regular 
looking like a regular regular you know what i'm wearing okay all the details were in that stream that i took the commission in so i'm pretty sure they just wanted one similar to my twitch icon but without the the, the lidded eyes so it would be like Something like this, I don't know. What does my icon even look like? Oh, it's just a... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I see now. Hey, hey, Cheems, how you doing? Swag, swag. Doing okay? Oh, good to hear. No, I'm just gonna draw the eyes just so when I'm doing this, I know I'm doing it right. Uh, okay, so let's go like this. And then this. Have I been? I've been pretty okay. Um, just vibing, you know, living life as I do. Oh, I live life. Let me tell you, I video edit a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Just video editing. I, uh, I recently started editing a 10 hour stream. I'm only 45 minutes into it, but like, it doesn't seem that bad. At least the audio is not too fucked. The, the audio from the previous stream I was working on, which was only five hours, that one had my audio. I think there were several factors. I think it was one, the audio was too loud. So when I stripped the audio, you could still hear a lot of it bleed through. And then the other thing was I had just woken up. So at the beginning of the stream, I was talking like this and I was kind of quiet. Um, and then the other thing was I was in the same room as my roommates because it was January of 2018, or sorry, 2019. So I was, like, I even said in the stream that I was talking kind of quietly, and I was like, oh, that would explain why the audio fucking sucks in this. But no, the 10-hour stream, it's, my voice is louder, the music is quieter, so it's, like, not as painful to edit. So, yeah. Yeah, I really wish I knew how to separate my audio back then. I heavily regret not doing that, but you know what? It's okay. My newer streams, at least have separated audio so when I'm, when I'm editing it's not as big a deal anyway yeah that's my my editing story hope you liked it uh it's based off a true story
think this is basically what they want, minus the lidded eyes. Or, unless I send it to them and they like the lidded eyes, then you never know. Alright, just for, like, symmetry's sake, I'm gonna move the ear a bit. Eye rings, eh? It's a lot of facial details to fit into one picture, but sure. I could do it, no probs. Send us to the commissioner chauffeur. All right. Sent them the progress. I'll continue sketching this. Oh, excuse me. Uh, but I do want to get at least the details drawn on it. Man, Pokemon Sword was such a good game. I know the critics complain about how not good Sword and Shield was, but honestly, like, it was the best game I've played since Pokemon Black. So, yeah, honestly, those people just don't have taste. Yeah, you think you know what you want in a Pokemon game? Go play Breath of the Wild, you, you child. Yeah, Pokemon Sword was pretty swag. I liked it a lot. Oh wait, no, that was supposed to be there. That was this marking. That's not part of the box. Okay. They were only mad because they couldn't get their favorite Pokemon. Like... Am I the only one who, like, who is glad that not all 900 plus Pokemon were in that game? Like, that's... No, like, okay, listen, listen, listen. Like, I don't know word for word what the developers said, but they said something along the lines of, like, eventually you will play a game that has your Pokemon in it, you know? And, like these worlds are diverse and they have like a shit ton of pokemon yeah they have 540 something pokemon chill the fuck out that's like almost half of the pokemon they have chill out you know like let's okay let's say not not the hisuian game that's coming out but like let's say the next the next generation gen 9 or whatever the the next region let's say that comes out with like 600 something pokemon Let's say it has some Pokemon from Sword and Shield, and it has some Pokemon that weren't in Sword and Shield, you know? But then there's going to be Pokemon that were in Sword and Shield that are not in that game, and people are still going to complain. But, like, that's... I don't know how to describe it, but it's, it's kind of like... Like, you can't go to a single Pokemon region and expect to catch every single Pokemon. You know what I mean? Like, with us having almost a thousand Pokemon, it doesn't make sense to have to be able to catch all 1,000 Pokemon in every single region. That makes absolute no sense. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> like, I can't be the only one who thinks that, you know? I don't know. It's just... It's stupid. Anyway, that's my Pokemon rant. It's more of a Pokemon fandom rant, but, you know. I thought it was boring, but that's just your opinion. Yeah, that's fair. Like... Like, uh, I mean, there's there's aspects of Pokemon games that can be boring. I, 
I personally liked it. Like, it it felt a little bit more like I like the story, I guess, and I like the music, and I just oh one thing that also made me like the game a lot was like even though they reused a lot of like assets, especially like animations from uh, Sun and Moon. I played Sun and Moon on a tiny original 3DS. So imagine the 3DS game, but like bit crunched down to like the DS size, right? That's really tiny and really not really a good way to experience the game. But Sword and Shield was like HD. So seeing a Pokemon game in HD with good music and it's nice and colorful and has nice graphics, like, yeah, it looks great. I love it. So. Just got into the stream near the end of my rant, but you feel me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry that you came in during when I was even ranting, but yo. Uh, I feel like some Pokemon should up would feel odd to show up in certain regions. Yeah, 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 exactly. But uh, yo, how are you doing? And hey, Matsu, what's up? How you doing? How you doing? Let's see. I remember some people edited in a Mario 64 tree <laughs> told people that it was a real game and people believed it and got super mad. Yeah, honestly, that's kind of funny. Um, oh, let me take off this hoodie. I'm getting kind of warm from that Pokemon fandom rant. But yeah, I, I do think it's like important to be critical of games as, you know, as, as, as companies grow. You know they'll take shortcuts to doing stuff right but you have to remember at the same time it's not just the pokemon games themselves and the directors cutting stuff just to cut stuff you have to also remember that like time crunches are a thing so like maybe if a game wasn't being rushed to like a certain deadline they could have time to implement your battle frontier that you love so much or like implement the Pokemon walking around feature and actually have each Pokemon different sizes at the, the, the proper sizes instead of all just the same tiny model. Now I'm just talking about BDSP, but you know what I mean? So I don't know, like you can't, like it is important to criticize games. That way the, peop the people that are making the games know, oh, hey, we didn't do our best on this game. We'll do better next time. But at the same time, you have to remember that like, it's not just the company itself, it's, it's the publisher and all that junk. So anyway, yeah, that, that's all I gotta say. Hey, good morning, Nekume. How you doing? Game Freak was at the mercy of the Pokemon company and having to release it when the anime products came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, honestly, if Pokemon games didn't come out so frequently, I think I would actually be able to afford all of them. Like, I don't have Pokemon Let's Go. I didn't really want it at first, but now I kind of do. Um, and I'm skipping BDSP just because I don't really have the money to get BDSP and Arceus. So, anyway. Yeah, right, I'm, I'm doing a commission. All you really get to do is get one good game out per console per generation. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, I don't know. I guess I'm more of an optimist when it comes to stuff nowadays. Like, I used to be, like, super, like, negative about everything. But, like, I don't know. Like, after a while, you kind of stop. Well, <laughs> can't say that about everyone, but... Like, after a while, you just... Like, if you start to, like, really appreciate stuff, you start to see the better in everything, you know? So, I don't know. I think what I just said sounds hella obvious, but... All right, yeah, so this is work in progress of a thing. I guess I'll save it for now. All right, this is for Slush Dog. But yeah, I'm perfectly fine with only 540 Pokemon being in Sword and Shield. Oh, that reminds me, I still have to buy the DLC. Let me write that down on the games list. Pokemon Sword DLC. <laughs> I don't have that yet. It costs money. Uh. People always point out how much game devs really hypothetically make. Usually they don't even make the big bucks. Yeah, you know what? That is true. 
see i'm not in the know of all that but like that seems like one of the more obvious obvious things that people are probably look over or overlook i should say all right so chest fluff smooching biting serious dad face yeah i'm gonna draw skunk dad Let me open up a reference picture that I drew recently. And it's apparently not in this folder. Here it is. Right, so this is the picture I drew uh, during my high doodle stream. There were stories of Activision workers sleeping on the floor. What the hell? I mean, honestly, I, I'm not that surprised, but at the same time, yeesh. Skunk Dad? Yeah, I'm drawing a Skunk Dad. Uh-oh, Skunky. Wait. Oh my god, I keep forgetting to cancel my Pokemon Bank subscription. I got, I just got charged three bucks again. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna draw Skunk Dad. Uh, it's fine, I'm gonna be playing Pokemon games again at some point. Okay, so let's see. Wait, I don't remember how I drew him. <laughs> I, I I completely drew this freehand when I when I drew him. So, oh yeah, Pokemon song he's playing. So let's see, he's got Bam. Okay, that, those are easy shapes to draw. All right. Oh yeah, those, those are those are shapes. <laughs> those are shapes. Okay. So let's see. Actually, hold on. There is a sticker that I can reference for this one. Pretty sure there was like a chest fluff hug sticker that I found. Not, I mean, not recently, recently, but relatively recently. Oh, yeah. All right. I got one. Wow, wow, wow. Square nose. And Yeah. <laughs> oh, mystery box. Yo, Masho. Yeah, sorry for missing messages. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Yep. Mystery box time. Here we go, Masho. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh my gosh, it's Bandit. Oh my gosh, Bandit Healer. Are you here to play a song? Badum. Oh yeah, I'm Bandit Healer. Uh, this is my song. Uh, I like Wild Dog. He's so hot. I'm going to kiss him on his face and uh, 
Love you, wild dog. Oh my gosh, Bandit, is your voice okay? Oh yeah, I've just been playing a song for several hours. Don't, don't mind me, don't mind me, wild dog. All right, love you, Bandit. Oh wait, that was supposed to be your gift. I'm sorry, Masho. I completely stole that from you. Anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna slowly trap him back in the box. No, 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 it's okay. He, uh, he, he chose to go in there. Let's see. Do -do 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 -do. World Sonic game. Uh, maybe the Sonic game will be good. Who knows? You're gonna get brilliant diamond at some point because Gen Four is your favorite. That's fair. That is unfortunate that they don't have like a lot of content in it. Like they have some content, but like not all the content. Like honestly, if you already have the game, like if you, especially if you don't have the money, like it's best to just like replay. Oh, actually, just just get an ISO for like uh like platinum, assuming you already have it, of course, and just get like a mod for it, and then play like a uh, randomizer or whatever i don't know that's what i'm gonna do at least like i have platinum so it's fine so i'm just gonna make a randomizer if i ever do that not make one you know what i mean all right yeah sorry i'm missing a lot of messages i'm like reading back and forth <laughs> uh you're adorable oh thank you Yeah, HGSS was pretty good. Um, I'm still kind of playing through it, honestly. Not actively at the moment. So this is a YCH guy. I will figure out how to draw this one eventually, so. Oh, actually, what if it's like... Yeah, so that's my, <laughs> that's my initial sketch for this one. When are we playing Shrek Super Slam? Uh, let's see. I had that one scheduled for late 2022. Hey, Jir, how you doing? Oh yeah, this Anamanaguchi song is pretty good. I agree. It's a pretty swag song. I do like, um, what's it called? Endless Fantasy. That one's my favorite album from Anamanaguchi. It's so fucking good. I know it's like old and like their new stuff isn't bad, but I definitely like their, uh, that, that one album, like the most, like that one was just so fucking good. Oh my God. I need to re-listen to the USA album again. Oh, to be a YCH, oh, right? Oh, oh yes. Big ol' YCH. 
Or sorry, a small little YCH. Old but gold. Yeah, 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 yeah. As they say. Smooching. Let's see. not a sub he wouldn't have that hand pose yeah, too much detail Oh, it's the same layer. Whoops. Oh. Ah, oh, shit. It's okay. Smooching. You know what? I'll just leave this vague square here. You know, you're gonna be like, what the hell is that? That is an unfinished YCH, actually. Thank you for asking. Oh yeah, you're welcome. Okay, so there's that one. And what's the next? Of, like fangs. Oh shit, he does. Okay. Vague square, yeah. 
square represents the blender square. Yeah, yeah, I totally know what that looks like. Taco Bell versus Jack in the Box, who markets to potheads more. Ah, uh, I don't remember exactly. Also, I don't, I don't really notice ads, I guess. But I would say, from my memory, I would I would think Jack in the Box is more geared towards stoners, whereas Taco Bell is just like, like it's it's just kind of basic. Like you know, it's good. But, like, everyone knows about Taco Bell. Not everyone knows about Jack in the Box, so. So I think because of that, Jack in the Box might have more of a pass to market towards stoners, maybe. Hey, Arugi, how you doing? Ponder the Blender Cube. Oh, I will ponder that Blender Cube. You know I will. Taco Bell's offering you a free toasted breakfast burrito, but it's like, eh, I need to sleep. True, true. Breakfast is decent, though. I've not had their breakfast stuff. Only their... Not breakfast stuff. Isn't Jack in the Box the origin of... You ate his face? I don't know what that one is. Oh. I will have to try a breakfast crunch wrap at some point, then. If I'm ever awake in the morning, well, okay, that it's it's morning now and I'm awake, but <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean. If I'm in the if I'm in the what's what's the term they use? If I'm in the uh, neighborhood in the morning awake, then yeah. All right, so. Wait, I can't draw sideways. What am I doing? Is this Splatoon music? Yes, it's a uh, Shiro Shiro Kara Bushi, or whatever the name in English is. Uh, Splattastic, Katamari Fresh. What's it called again? Yet. Oh, she o Kara, not she ro Kara. She ro means white. She o I don't know what that one is. She o Kara Bushi. Yeah, don't worry, there's nothing weird going on here. He's just snoot to snoot, you know? And let's see, what's the next one? Uh, 
biting YCH. Yeah, CPR. Exactly. Exactly. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know how to draw this one, actually. I mean, this is goofy enough, I guess, but... Looks like this skunk hunk. Yes, I'm rhyming. It's a new recurring character. Uh, no, it's a commission. Uh, this is a commission for Digsby Bear of his skunk man. His, uh, hunky hot skunk man. something yeah i'm not sure how to draw the body for this one but uh maybe if i do something like Hey, Zerink. Ha! <laughs> 
How am I? I'm doing pretty good. Just doing commission sketches. Trying to figure out how to make like a biting sticker of Giant Skunk Man. Is it the dad skunk that made us all swoon? Yep, that's the one. That's him, all right. See, he's got the facial hair and everything. Ooh, or actually, hold on, hold on. Biting his arm. Oh, Caro Blaster. Let me add this to the list of games to play. I played it a long time ago on Twitch before I started doing my mic streams. It's very hard once you get to uh, overtime mode, but it's a fun game. Yeah, I like this sketch a lot better. <laughs> it's very off model here, but it's funny. Oh, I actually I like this one a lot. All right, let me save these. It's a fun game. Wait, is that what I said? Did I say it's a fun game? <laughs> Did I say it like that? Oh, I. It, it's a good game. It's just hard. Oh, I, I, I... <laughs> I was trying to think what the word was or something. I don't know. My brain's silly. All right. Uh. Dad, uh, hug. Smooch. Uh, I'm gonna call this one boop. No, snoot boop. And I don't have to enter. Oh. A PNG tube commission. Ah! Like, what kind of PNG tuber? Like, one where I'm. Like, like how mine is? How, like, I have, like, a talking state and, like, a not talking state? If you want something like that, I could definitely do that. Um, oh, two frames? Okay, cool. 
uh, my previous, uh, you guys remember when I was using the VTuber Studios or whatever, not, no, it wasn't, no, it was, I wasn't using that. I was using, uh, I was using Live 2D. Um, that one was an experimental, uh, uh, VTuber model, but basically I had like, had to like separate a bunch of layers and stuff and it, it was really complex like i kind of understood it but like i kind of forget how to do that now but like if you just want something like this that would be way easier for me to work on so yeah i could definitely do i could definitely do that now with the eyes moving around okay yeah because zarink all you have to do with this is literally like look at this one Right, so right here, you see how I'm in a, a stream call right now? Yeah, basically I'm just using a thing where uh, there, there's a script, right? And it's copying like the the ID for me and it, it like knows what room I'm in specifically and it's pulling uh, images through Discord. Um, so yeah, it's really easy to set up. So I definitely recommend that if you're getting into VTubing and shit. So yeah, I could definitely do that for you. Yeah, we could work out details later if you want, Zerink. Uh, yeah, hey, Hammer, how you doing? What's up? Good morning to you too. Also, I will be right back. I need to use the restroom. All right, I'm back. Doing good, wild dog. Ooh, oh, I'm out of water. Ugh. All right, be right back again. All right, I am back. So I think like a week ago, I think a week ago or something, my roommates, maybe a little bit more than a week ago at this point, but my roommates uh, got like a computer upgrade. I don't know which one, but one of them did. And so there's a large brown box and a large red and white box. And the red and white box is on top of the brown box and it's in the hallway, uh, their side of the hallway, not my side of the hallway. But every time I fucking leave this room, especially at night, like I instinctively like look over whenever I see like the like the faint color of the white box from the corner of my eye because like I'm not used to seeing anything over there and like it it makes me jump a few times it, it didn't make me jump now but like I did look over when I was getting water just like <sighs> I don't know <laughs> I don't know how to explain it it's just honestly I I was here by myself for almost a whole week while my roommates were at MFF. I could have broken down those boxes and thrown them away, but I didn't. I left them in the hallway and continued to get scared by them. Like, I should have done that. I really just should have collapsed the boxes and put them in the recycling bin. I, I, I don't know why I didn't do that. It didn't cross my mind to do that, but <laughs> like every time I, I walk into the hallway, like my heart jumps for a second because it's like what's that oh it's just boxes oh god it's like and like even when i'm like like when i'm leaving the room i don't instinctively think oh yeah there's some boxes in the hallway like no i don't think about that so every time i go leave the computer room i just get jump scared <laughs> it's fucking uh yeah anyway <laughs> Dark shapes you aren't expecting makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not even that scary. It's just like, I don't know. Like, I, I don't ever expect anyone to be in the house, but like, it's still like scary, okay? It's so scary. Yeah, so it's the last one I need to draw here. Sick. 
serious dad face. Okay. Bring this out a bit more. Be like, be like Laura saying no to the box. Yeah, whenever I walk out of the room, I just be like no, 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 no. Wait, hold on. Uh. Yeah, there we go. Did you guys hear that? Yeah, that's Eaglebot doing that. Pretend the box is getting... Is Bandit coming to visit and then get disappointed. Oh, no. I don't want to get disappointed. No, this is... Okay, this is a good face, but I don't think it's what I want for this one.
told this joke before, but what's Lara Croft's favorite kind of Japanese theater? No. I feel like I would understand that joke if I knew what a no theater is. So let me look that up. Good joke, but I don't get it. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh, it's a mask. Hold on. I keep typoing theater. I don't know how to type, all right? Oh, I put too many T's in there. Involving music, dance, and drama. 14th century, whoa. Oh, I can't view images on Google. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh it's one of those. Like in Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver. Okay. All right, so I've definitely seen these stages before. I think one of these stages is in uh, Ape Escape 2. There's a Ninja Castle level. And it's got like a little stage like that. Okay, you know what? That makes sense. Alright, that's pretty cool. And I've seen those faces before. Now I know what those faces are for. Yo, I just learned something new. Thank you, Stripe Back. Hey, Star, how you doing? What's poppin'? I gotta get the, uh, the serious face. Ah, that was an okay face. woke up and got back from the store hopefully i've been doing my best i've been yes absolutely yeah of what of course why would i not be doing my best <laughs> obviously i mean <laughs> yeah you know me you know me star you know me i've been doing yeah 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 you know what yeah i've been doing my best i've been doing my best <laughs> okay. Yeah, good to hear, Star. Yeah, I'm drawing a skunk dad. Uh, so these commission ideas were like kind of vague. So I don't really have uh. Right, you know what? I think the shoulder is definitely. Skunk dads are pretty cool. I agree, Gamma. How you doing? Alright, this one's a little bit off, but it's a sketch, so whatever. Yeah, this one has three versions, because I don't know which one to go with. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Just woke up after falling asleep while I was playing Pibo Saru. Oh, Lamel. Yeah, I played that for like three to four hours, I think. I, don't, I didn't check. Uh, I stopped because I was getting hungry. So I took like a like two or three hour break. Uh, and yeah, now I'm drawing because I got commissioned to work on five stickers and someone's icon, which I should check Twitter real quick. Ba, ba, ba. 
jury found Empire actor Juicy Smollett guilty of five counts of felony, felony disorderly conduct for making false police report about a hate crime in Chicago in 2019. Oh, shit. I don't know who that is. Wait, did I not announce that I'm doing art? Oh my god, I forgot to announce that I'm doing art on Twitter. That's funny. Yeah, I really did forget to announce it. <laughs> I was co going to copy the link and then I got distracted. Whoops. It's okay. It's now or never. Oh yeah, Star, check out this, uh, wait, not this one, but I need to save that later. Yeah, so this is a thing I'm working on, and, oh, that this was the last Skunk Dad sketch I did from a few nights ago. Um, very cool, very swag. And here's a sticker I'm working on. It's a hugging chest fluff sticker. It's, uh, it's dad, hot dad, and we got skunk smooching, possibly, hold on, what the type okay. and something else, hold on, respond to that, okay. yo, Katashi, thank you for seven, 12 month streak, oh my gosh, yo, 40 whole months, oh, Katashi, Oh, red dog, red dog of, of red fur. You're so red. Yo, and hey, base dot, how you doing? How you doing? Welcome. Yeah, guys, you'll never believe this, but Katashi is, uh, he's red and he's a dog. Yeah, those are two facts that, uh, no one's ever said before. Yeah, uh, I don't know what to do for this one exactly, so that's it's a sketch, whatever. And then, oh, this one, it's safe. It's safe. Don't worry, it's safe. He's, it's a, it's a nose boot, obviously, see? Yeah, you heard it here first. Uh, he's red and a dog. Yeah, it's nose boop. And finally, biting. Well, actually, this, would, this one would be the final, but I don't know what face to go with for this one, so. Yeah, it doesn't help when your commissioners are asleep. <laughs> so, like, as far as I know, I'm done for now. Like, I did all my sketches. I don't have any, uh... Hmm. I have three more commissions to work on but all of them are porn, so I can't do them on Twitch, so. Hmm. Ooh, I have some ramen next, or not ramen. Uh, I have some rice next to me. I forgot to finish it, hold on. Let's hope it's not all dried up. I'm gonna take a bite just for you guys. Oh, that's cold. I can hear a little bit of solidness when I'm rubbing my fork against it, but. Otherwise, yep, this is definitely rice. It's leftover rice from when I was eating food a few hours ago. Um, oh, I got a response. Okay, hold on. Move it or lose it. And then for this one. Alright, so one. Two. Okay. 
I sent all the drafts over. Uh, yeah, let me go reheat this rice real quick. So I will be right back. Okay, I am back. I am back, and I have uh, warmer rice. Ooh. Yeah, 25 seconds was too hot for this rice. Oh, yeah. Hot rice. Yeah, so I'm a wild dog, and um, I woof. All right, so he wants his arms crossed in this one. So let's see. So, let's see. Something along the lines of this pose. More or less. Okay, let me try and... I don't know if it's going to look good, but I'm going to try and draw, like, front-facing. <laughs> I don't know how to draw this guy front facing. Uh... Oh, it's not too bad. Although it doesn't look like his character now. Hey, Levi Jack Lope, how you doing? You look so sassy. You look so sassy. Yeah, I'm... Honestly, I wasn't going to go with this uh, front-facing, because I usually don't do front-facing, but I do <laughs> like how this looks so far. Like, it looks good as, like, a funny, goofy, off-model type deal. Erase these guidelines. Come, ah, oh, you said it, Vic. You said it. You're okay. Ah, oh, good to hear.
sleepy. Yeah, fair. Yeah, I woke up at like 6 p.m. So it's actually... I've been awake for like 11 hours. <laughs> this is funny. Be like, Ch -ch -ch. wait, that doesn't make sense. Sorry, I was looking at like a sticker as a reference, but I'm just realizing it doesn't make sense. No, he's supposed to be like a, like a wear skunk, but <laughs> this pose is. All right, you know what? Honestly, it's just the front facing is goofy looking. I like it, but I'm gonna not use it. He's giving you Moto Moto vibes. Oh. Hey, Nigel. pressing for that oh wait alt oh i okay apparently i pressed alt and space at the same time uh okay okay i literally never knew that alt and space <laughs> allows you to do this that's all right cool good to know i guess huh wow Cool. But now I lost the color I was using. I feel like you only know what 10% of your art program can do. Yeah, true. Like. I only use what I use, you know? And like, sometimes I'll figure something out and it's like, oh, that's cool. Too bad I'll never use it. But like, maybe I'll do alt space. You never know. Fuck, you never know, you know? Oh, sorry, I'm stretchy a bit. Oh. Mm. Okay. Should definitely experiment more, but you don't know where to start. Yeah. Like. 
experimenting as in like trying out new techniques with art or like like trying new shortcuts and like tools either way like experimenting is good um like i didn't find this through experimenting but let's see so on sai they have keyboard shortcuts right and for me i have alt one as the increment selection here so under selection increment selection you can make it any any shortcut you want but uh yeah what it basically does is this so i'm gonna do a circle and then i'm gonna select it and then alt one two three four five six seven eight nine uh, I pressed it nine times. Do a layer on the bottom. Bam. Look at that. I just made... I made a, a ring around it. That's how I do my... Whatchamacallit. I'm very good at explanations, as you can tell. But, yeah. More so, more so the tools, true. Uh, the tool I don't really use a lot on Psy would be uh, this one right here, the line work tool. I think it's used for like, um, oh. It like vectorizes the lines like realistically i should be using this right like look at that it looks like i drew that freehand well not really but like that's useful i guess or like oh no it doesn't oh i didn't make my circle correctly here let me just oh 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 yo what that's so crazy. I made a perfect circle almost. No, oh, I, I should be using this. What the hell? Why aren't why am I not using line work layers? You know what? I don't know. Alright. Wait. Oh. Not what I meant to do. So in line work layer, holding control and doing the wait. Yeah, control doesn't do anything in that. And yeah, why am I not doing that more often? What the hell? got a big old nose here very cool anyway I'm not even high but I should be is confusing so be like I don't know hand crossing pose hurt my brain oh whoops Uh, 
Ugh. All right, to be fair, I was referencing a very cartoony sticker for the first pose, but you get the idea. Plantai Kingdom. Pl Plantai Kingdom. Yo, thank you for following. Plantai? Why did I say Plantai? Yo, how you doing? Mm. Ugh. Okay, I feel like I should sketch... on this arm. Yeah, it'd be something like that. Yeah, something like that. Rock Candy Wolf, thank you for following. Hey, hey, howdy, howdy. This is uh, Kirby 64, correct? Kirby music so much. Yeah, so do I. It's so good. I love it. This is a really good song. I can't tell if this is the SNES game or if it's Kirby 64. Wow, 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 wow. 
No, this is Kirby 64. I know what this is. No, no, it's, blah, 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 blah. it's SNES. It's <laughs> Kirby SNES. Uh, I forget which one. You know the one. Yeah, I recognize this sound font. This is definitely SNESy. <laughs> it's so SNESy. Uh, like, this is so SNESy. Yeah, move these down to shoot a little bit. And now the song is getting off key for me, so. Oh, have a good. Hope, hope I'm having a good day. Oh, I am having a good day. Thus far. Hope you are too, Homer. Oh, I just noticed today, I don't think I've been abusing the Australian accent as much. Hopefully, I don't jinx it, but yeah. And thank you for the host, Homer. Thank you so much. If I haven't been doing the accent all day, this might be the first day of not doing it. Which would honestly be very, be very shocking for me, but... Uh, hey. I'm gonna have pizza in a bit. Oh heck yeah. Save canvas. This one, let's see how he wants me to change it. Chess one, he can have his paw on YCH's head. Okay, I see. In that case, Oi, swag. <laughs> Yo, how you doing, DJ? What's popping? Oh, my back's popping. That's what. Also, I like that uh, laughing nom sticker. That's a good sticker right there.
Okay, I figure out how to draw that. Norm. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I just did it again. Oh, no. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to do it this time. Not today. I knew I would have jinxed myself. I'll figure this one out. Cam, I'm aging. Help. No. <laughs> Levy. Oh my gosh, yo. Thank you for subbing. 40 months. 40 freaking months. Oh my gosh. Yo, you and Katashi are tied for number of months subbed. <laughs> Dude, we're all aging though. Rick and 40. Yeah, Rick and 40. Rick and 40 interdimensional numbers. It's true. Katashi subbed and he's at 40 months. And so is Levy. You guys do have both. You you guys do. You. You, you guys both do have. You guys do have. You both. Hold on. You know what? Fuck it. English is a. You could say whatever you want. It makes sense. All right. You do both have 40 months. Sorry, you both have subscriber badge. There we go. Yeah, collectively you guys have 80 months, so it's all good. Hey devs, how you doing? Yeah, look, alright, I know you're laughing at me. You're like, look, he can't he can't fucking formulate his words. You know what? You know just for that devs? Just for that devs? I'm gonna go I'm gonna go pray. <coughs> I'm back. I forgot about my rice. Oh no, it got cold again. It's okay. Hey, you know what? Rice is rice. You know what I mean, you know what I mean bro? Anyway, I prayed. Now, now my prayer level is... um, It's high. Hmm. Oh yeah. Alright, yo. How you doing, devs? Good morning to you too. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, good morning. Uh, today we're gonna drink some skunk Dan, and I'm drawing skunk Dan right now. And uh, yeah, so yeah, so here he is giving him the snoop boop as he does, and here's him giving him the little bite. Yeah, Katashi, what do you think of this one? That's the uh, Sonic Advance song, but in Waz. Jump. Oh, yeah, you said it, Katashi. So, yeah, he's taking a big old chomp out of this, uh, your character here. No, actually, yeah, this is a YCH. This could be whoever you want it to be. This could be you if you want it to be. It says YCH right here, your character here. So this is you. I'm talking to you. That's right, you. The one listening right now. I'm talking to you. YCH, this is you. You're welcome. My art has a 90s vibe. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I get that a lot. <laughs> I, I go for more of, um, like, shape-based cartoon stuff. So, like, if I were to minimize or, uh, 
I don't know what the term is. Yeah, so, like, here's a shape. And then here's a shape. And here's a shape. Connects here. You know, so, like, just shapes, right? And, uh, yeah. So, I guess you could say, like, my stuff is inspired by the stuff that was inspired by stuff in the 90s, you know? I just, I like cool shapes. And I'm glad that I can make cool stuff with shapes now. Like, even if it's not, like, 100% like, uh, shape-based, like, you can still see the shapes in there, and I think that's swag. Yeah, I gotta draw this little guy right here. Get, oh, no, sorry, I need to draw uh, you. Yeah, that's his name. His name is you. It, it's not, it's not this, it's this one. I'm not talking about a single person named you. Alright, so... Oh yeah, it looks beautiful. a folder and then I can build around that one okay so I want to stretch out the face just a little bit Oh, this is good. I should be using this for the line art. What the hell am I doing? Open the mystery box. All right, Levy. Wait, which edge? Oh, uh, uh, there it is. Found it. Oh. All right, what we get? What we get? Oh, what is happening? No. All right, you know what? <laughs> Wait, I didn't know what happened. No! Why is it doing that? Oh, it's broken. <laughs> no! <laughs> My box of illusions, no! <laughs> What's it doing? No! <laughs> hey, look, it's this dog. Yo, you won, Levy, you got all of them. What the hell? Yeah, what happened to the box? All right, don't peek, all right? What the? I'm upset. 
No. What is happening? Oh, it was working today. It was work. I don't know what's different. I didn't do anything different. I opened up a regular mystery box today. What the hell? Ugh. I don't know. Levy, what'd you do? Technically, you are a ma magician, according to your Twitter bio. You know what? Oh, if you have something to do with this, Katashi, I swear. Wait, how are you making Cam swear? Oh, you know, Katashi. Yeah, so I need to stop treating this like a sket, like a like a line art, because I need to resize it too. I'm not even done with the picture. Oh my gosh, this is going to look so good. I'm excited. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so good. Living up to your judgment is very dangerous. Oh no. No, Katashi, no. Alright, you know what, Katashi? Yeah, you know what? Tashi. Freaking swear. See, you made me do it again. Oh my gosh, Katashi. I cannot believe this. <laughs> Uh, the mystery box, though. So sad. And now you guys know that I've been slacking on adding stuff. I know I said I added stuff. I added some stuff, alright? I didn't add everything, though. I, You know what? I need to find more stuff to add to the mystery box. I think I should leave it up to other people to help. Uh, of course, it would be curated and such. But I definitely need to do that.
I don't I don't know what to do with this arm, honestly. When am I gonna get on Fortnite? Uh I don't know. I'm not really interested in that kind of gameplay style. Like, I'm not one of those Fortnite haters. But like uh no, 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 sorry, I wasn't going on that route, sorry. I, uh, I, I like how it looks visually. Like, there's a lot of cool things I like about it, and I like that they have crossovers with, like, franchises like Tomb Raider and freaking like, Rick and Morty. Like, that shit's cool, you know? So it's like, yeah, Fortnite's cool. It's just, like, I'm not into, like, that gameplay style. That's it. Uh, I think I just said that already, <laughs> but I wanted to make it more clear. Uh... But you know what? That's it. Doesn't mean it's not possible. Like you never know. Maybe I'll do like a Fortnite. I'll try it one day or whatever. Maybe do like two or three streams after that. You never know. But uh, yeah, I'm more so just into just the retro, non-online games. You know, like maybe there will be other games like it that will get me to want to try it. You know. Um, yeah, I really don't know what I'm doing with this arm, like... I don't know. Can't think of anything to... It's cute, though. Only thing you can think of with the arm is inappropriate. What the hell? Oh, <laughs> oh, I know what you mean now. Yeah, you know it does. Yeah, it's okay. His his hand isn't in that direction. It's close, but it's not there. You know. So, holding hands. I mean. I like this super cartoony uh, YCH. No, it's not TOS. It's not TOS. Look. It, look, there's nothing... What? You think this is sexual? There's nothing sexual about this. It's fine. I, 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 I didn't say sexual. That, was, that wasn't me. It was, yeah, I was just... You know what? It, it's not, alright? It's not. If it was, I'd be doing this on Picardo, alright? Look, see, he's YCH colored. Alright, showing to Commissioner. Yo, this stream is awesome. Yeah, nothing sexual ever happens to YCHs. That'd be weird, you know? <laughs> I don't know what to do with this one, though. I don't know if I want the YCH here or not. Uh, maybe it should just be, like, him just kissing uh, the side, you know? That's not sexual either, all right? I know I'm jumping on the gun, all right? And, ju and just saying something before I even give you a chance to even think of what this is. But it's not, all right? Look, he's just on, he's on the ground, and he's, look, just because, look, look, there's literally nothing off camera, all right? Nothing's going on off camera. It's fine. It's fine. It's a snoot boot, bro. It's a snoot boot. You ever heard of a snoot boot before? <laughs> it rhymes. Oh, wait. I like this face a lot. <laughs> I swear, YCH guy is the luckiest person in the world. So true.
<laughs> I love it so much. I'll keep the simplicity in this one, but I gotta fix it. Shoulder fluff. I'm not gonna trace it, trace it, but it... I do want to fix some stuff. Just like the arm. Uh... song is very droning. Not a bad thing, but it's droning my ears out. I gotta, I gotta end this song. It's very trancey. It's got me in a fucking trance, yo. Shoulder fluff. Oh yeah, he's got shoulder fluff. And I might get rid of the YCH for this one. Cute idea, but I think it works better. There's a little bit more leniency with this one.
Oh yeah, this is looking way better. Getting somewhere with this. fits better this line no actually keep that one. yeah I like that way that way looks good Oh, that's a good look, actually. Oh, Tomb Raider. I got to add that to the list. Hold on. Tomb Raider. QBC. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Out of context. Uh, I was making a list of both 
current games and games I want to play uh, in the future. And uh, yeah, I just remembered I'm I'm still in the progress of playing Tomb Raider Game Boy Color. So I added that to the list and I'll expand up upon the list later as well, but Okay, so this is looking good. I did like how it looked previously better, but not bad so far. Yeah, there we go. There's a lot of Kirby music playing. I should make this nose bigger. Yeah, this song is from my childhood uh, Kirby game, Nightmare in Dreamland. I think this was my first Game Boy Advance game. Okay, save. I save slush dogs. Did. Save this one. This one. Let's see this one. Oh yeah, that one's looking great too. Okay. I will be right back. I'll be right back.
Oh yeah, just cracking my knuckles. Don't mind me. Oh, hey, Catter. Right. Oh, yeah, these are good skunks. Yeah, how you doing, Catter? Oh yeah, your thing that you sent me. I did not read the message. Uh, I need to read it. But... I'll get back to you after this stream. Just had Din Din swag. Yeah, this is my... Let's see, I think I woke up at like 6, so this is my 12 hour mark, really. So... I had... I guess that was lunch, huh? Yeah, that would be lunch for me then. Yeah, so it's coming up on my last few hours of the night, but I'm not tired yet, so like, hey. Uh, not 12 hours straight. I took like a three hour break, I think. Yeah, I ate food, watched a stream, and I edited the first 45 minutes of a 10 hour stream in 2019. And, uh, yeah, and then I was like, you know what? I don't want to get too comfortable editing right now. I do that every day. I'm going to do some art. So I did some art. Oh yeah, look at that fluff. What a hottie. Yeah, it fits the facial hair there. Guess I'll work on this one too. Like, this is a, a good one, but I want to fix the face a little bit. Selecting. <laughs> uh, take a back turn. All right. Perfect. Yo. Right. Yeah. So this one I'm, I'm going to adjust. Same layer, whoops. I used to live to hear the word come on, baby, please. But all those feelings are long gone, and I can't make them right. The darkness I have found hides deep inside. Ooh, let me make. 
yeah when it's turned this way i think it's also the eyes but like it looks a little off at least in this side but like when it's this way it makes sense so hmm I guess that would be more realistic, because then you'd be like, yeah. Hydrate? Alright, you know what? Yeah. Oh yeah, water. This dude probably smells masculine aura type beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drink wild, drink water, wild dog. Mm. Alright, Hama, just for you. Right, now to fix the eyes. Oops. Sonic music is so good. Yeah, it looks good. Hmm. Although, I do want to fix it. Oh, this game! I need to play this game, too. Adding this to the list. Chrono X. Yes, do not forget that, Cam. I want to play this game. Oh, and Zera. Oh, adding more to the list. What do I think of Sonic 2 movie? I haven't seen the trailer. Um, haven't watched the first 
uh, Sonic movie either, so I think I should watch the first movie first. You know? That way, like, the second trailer has more an effect. Yeah, I need to find a night to watch that. Um... Sorry, I'm looking at references. Uh, yeah. And also, I want to rewatch um, Cat in the Hat. The uh, 2003, 2004 movie. Yeah, fair. Uh, same here. I do want to move this over. Now. Who would win in a battle? OG. O OG movie sonic or chris pratt mario uh definitely og movie sonic that's without a doubt yeah what's chris pratt mario gonna do huh what's chris pratt mario gonna do he's gonna he's gonna lose This is a very chaotic song. You better say wahoo. Oh, better. Wahoo. Yeah, it's just gonna be him, pretty much. He's just gonna be a regular guy from New York, you know? It's me, Chris Pratt from New York. Uh, yeah, the other day I went to, uh, I went to the frickin', uh, yeah, I went through this green pipe, yeah? Yeah, under the city sublines. And, uh, you never guess where it took me. It took me all the way to the Mushroom Kingdom. I was like, I can't believe this. I'm in the Mushroom Kingdom now. I don't know what accent that was. <laughs> Just came out. It's Gabagol. Wow. 
Ah, oh, same layer. Hold on, I'm sitting on my foot again. Okay, here we go. Yo, he's got two arms on that side. It's crazy. I want to save drafts of these, uh, uh, these stickers. Yo, I really like this one. I like the shapes in this one. I might have to make it even more shapey by instead of having this line and this line, it should be like the same line. I think that'd be kind of swag. That make that might make him too boxy, you know. So maybe not. But it was a good idea. Like that line can be the same, but this one, I think, it works better for his head shape. He's like this, you know. Don't mess with the head shape, Cam. It's fine. It's fine. Leave the neck. Look, the neck. It's all hits the top of the head. All right. You happy, Cam? There's your symmetry. Oh yeah, I'm pretty happy. And I don't think I got a response back on this one. Yeah, what do you guys think of this picture? Pretty cool. And this one's pretty swag. Wax the dish, send this. Okay, so this one...
Aua. Love all these cute skunks. Oh, thank you, Gamma. Yeah, my uh, thumbnails aren't working, so I gotta click all the individual images. Oh my god, is that a wild dog? Oh, woof woof, it sure is. How you doing, Nefari? I'm just working on some stickers. How I been? Uh, I've been pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, I've been doing a lot of video editing again. But, hey, it's it's a good grind, you know? They looking heckin' cute? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, I need to get better about doing more streams more often. But, hey. I did two streams today, so that's something. Oh, I like this one, too. And over this one. Oh, I didn't export this with fluff. This one right here. Yeah, I'm sending updated versions of these stickers here. Yeah, I'm really liking how these are coming out so far. Yeah, I really want to play uh, Pokemon Black, like... A raw, uh, what's it called? A uh, randomized ISO. I got the game right here, so might as well, you know. Been doing a couple a day. And stream more. Oh, you mean like you, you, you stream for like a few hours and then stop, eat food or whatever, and then start another stream? Yo, that's, that's basically what I did today. I don't think I can do that consistently, but, uh, yeah, it was fun so far. Yeah, so this one's work in progress. I might as well touch this one up. Yo, hey, Disco. It's popping. Yeah, 
So I'm gonna shrink that a little bit. That way I can fix it. Yeah, so everything else here can stay the same. I just wanted to fix the shapes. Yeah, I'll change that where the eyes are, actually. Yeah, here, let me show more uh, skunk. All right. So this one I drew uh, like a week or so ago. I forget. Hold on. It was HD stream. So that was like the middle of last month, I think. I forget. Um, anyway, here's uh, chest fluff. And here is kissy kiss. And here is nose boop. And here is uh, bitey bite chomp chomp. And this is not impressed. Yeah, I like how this looks. It's so good. Oh yeah, it's a happy face. Yeah, I don't accept that.
Okay, I'll leave that one alone. Yo, how do thou go? Thank you for subbing, yo. Thank you so much. How you doing? Let's pop in. Hold on. Dad stare. Sorry. Uh, commissioner was responding to this picture. He said dad stare. Oh, I love it so much. It's so cute. Can't wait to start coloring that one. The yeah, yeah. How you doing? How you doing? Hot dog dog go. I think this is more or less what the commissioner was probably asking for. There we go. What's the brief? Oh, you know, just uh, working on some commissions. Uh, this picture in particular. Commissioner has not gotten back yet. But. I think this will be. Oh my gosh. I think this will be good. Also, it's like, damn, what a good day for commissions, huh? I might have to readjust the bottoms here, but looking good, looking good. And then just so I can figure out the uh, facial pattern here.
this Pokemon? Delta Stream. I forget which song this is, but I recognized it as Pokemon. Pokemon. Oh yeah, it's a little Pokemon. Oh yeah. The other day we went to Pokemon Town. Oh, let me tell you. It was a... It was a place. Bam, 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 bam. Mission. Okay, got the ref. So, white stripe. And then another white stripe. Can't give symmetry to the base, unfortunately, but that's okay. So something like this. Toby Fox did music for Pokemon Sword and Shield and Delta Rune Chapter Two. That is true. Well, he composed uh, the majority of Chapter Two's music, but for Pokemon Sword and Shield, I think he only did like a battle theme, or like not 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 a battle theme, but it was like the frontier, not frontier, the. Uh, I forget what it's called exactly in the game, but it's like one of those like like special like battle type music. Uh, but yes, he did. He did compose a track for that. He also did the soundtrack alongside a Pokemon composer. The game was called like City something or something City. Uh, Tiny Heroes something. Si I don't remember what it's called exactly, but. Uh, I think it's a Switch game. Yeah, Little Town Hero. That's what it was. I, I, I was close. Town, city. Yeah. Yeah. I like their music style. Yeah, uh, whenever it comes to, like, facial markings, it gets kind of hard to, like, squish it into an icon. Like, part of me, like, enjoys it because it's, like, fun to squash and stretch the colors and stuff, but since I already changed the face a lot, uh, wah ba da ba da
Yeah, so something like that. Hey, hey, Tyrion. Hi. Yo, Tyrion. Check out... Oh, I'm safe. Check out this skunk dad squishing a YCH into his chest. Check out this skunk dad giving a smooch. Check out this skunk dad giving a nose boop. Check out this skunk dad taking a big old chomp out of this YCH's arm. And check out this skunk dad. He's not having it today. Or he's not impressed. It's the dad face. That's what I gotta say. Want to play Pokemon Brilliant and Shining? I would like to. Uh, it's not on my priority list right now because I just don't have enough money to buy it. But I am saving up for Pokemon Legends Arceus. I want to get that game. I want to get that one. Uh, like Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, they're, they're gonna, they're always gonna be around. But I want to get that game because that one looks like like the one I should play next. You know. Why is he not impressed? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you made a joke and he was just like, nah, man, it's not cool. It's not cool, man. Yo, thank you for your speak. That should be good for now. It's looking good. Alright, I'm gonna send this to the commissioner, see what they think. Yeah, oh my god, this is looking good. Uh, this one I do want to fix a little bit. Like, it looks good, but there's some things I want to fix. Hey, Carmelosius. I have been streaming all night, pretty much. Yeah, this stream has only been like 3 hours and 37 minutes, but I think that says long as my last stream so i guess technically i've been streaming for like eight hours wow doesn't feel like it where is that stream at uh that would be my video yeah that stream was Three hours and 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been six hours. It's like, yeah. Actually closer to seven hours. So seven hours streaming, damn. Yeah, I think, I mean, I'm, I'm not tired yet, but now that I realize I have been streaming for that long, I probably should wrap this up. Uh, but I do want to fix this first. There's things I want to fix here. What were some of my style inspirations? Been trying to study so many different ways to draw eyes and muzzles. Um, I honestly should start writing down 
my inspirations. That way, like, it's easier to remember them off the top of my head. But, uh, I like stuff that has, like, shapes, right? So, I guess you can say that my stuff is inspired by the people who made... No, wait, wait, sorry. I'm inspired by the people who are inspired by, like, the 90s cartoons and stuff. Like, I used to draw in a somewhat 90s-ish style. Uh, but I feel like it's evolved a little bit past that. So, I guess to put it short, I can list some shows. I do like Bluey. Um, like, if you've ever watched, like, those Canadian cartoons where, like, all the character designs look like they're, like, like squares and octagons and shit like that like not like literal shapes but like you could see it in the character design stuff like that so there's this artist this character designer for canadian television i'm not canadian by the way but uh yeah i found this show called scaredy squirrel uh google and oh I want LinkedIn. Hold on. Dave McDougal. Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Yeah. Blog spot. Here we go. Yeah. So here we go. I'm going to show my screen real quick. All right. There we go. Yeah, so this is the character designer I was talking about. Like, you see how he has, like, all these cool shapes in his art? Like, this isn't a direct inspiration, but it is what kick-started my, uh, my love for shapes, basically. Hey, Black Monolith, how you doing? Some of my art reminds you of Fairly Odd Parents. You know what? You're right. It does look like, uh... What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Tough Puppy. Cartoon. Yeah, Tough Puppy. I gotta be careful with my search results. I know, I know, but... Uh, yeah, like, like the character designs and shit. Yeah, you're right. Oh my god. Like, alright. Honestly, fuck Butch Hartman. But, I do like the art style for the show a lot. So... I guess this could be a future inspiration. I don't want to go any further. <laughs> I'm afraid of Google. It's a very powerful thing. But yeah, there's lots of cool shapes in the show. So yeah, stuff like this basically just kind of inspires me. But also, just people on my timeline. Like, I'll follow these people who, like, they're furry artists and they draw, like, furry stuff. But there's, like, good shapes in their art. Um, there's a not safe for work artist named Smalls Rabbit on Twitter. Not safe for work, so that's your warning. But, <laughs> but um, yeah, they do a lot of cool shape stuff in their art as well, and that's been a recent inspiration for some stuff lately. So, yeah, just that's that's a very long answer, but I don't have a definite answer, so you get a long answer in response. It's a lack of chins and half lidded eyes. Oh yeah, I yeah, pretty much. Look at this guy; he's so cute. Well, I want to see more of these. Oh my dog! Yo! Look at these alligators! I love them! Oh, look at that cool parakeet. Yeah, this guy's all shapes. Um. Oh my gosh, look at him! Oh my gosh, look at him! Oh my gosh! He's so shapey! He's, a um, Madagascar. Oh, I like him! Whoa! Yeah, this is, like, the kind of art style I want to go for. Like, not, like, one for one, but just, like, oh, look at the cool shapes in this. Can I link this guy? Yes. Yes. I'm on page two. But, uh, oh my dog, look at this guy. Look at this crow. 
Yeah, you know what? This guy's got some shapes that I draw, actually. So I basically I gotta I gotta learn how to do really simple stuff. And then from there, like branch off with different shapes. I, I think that'd be fun to do. But yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm a little bit high as well, so I just got completely sidetracked and now I'm looking at swag art. Oh my dog. Oh my dog, look at these Dave McDougal sharks. Wow. I love these. Look at those. Look at them. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. I think it's how you draw bodies and body types, but faces are a struggle. Funny enough, like faces are what I practice with the most. I've been drawing faces for a long time, so I'm, those are like the thing I'm best at. But now I, oh my gosh, look at them. But now I try to do like really cool stuff. Maybe not as cool as this, but damn, look at this guy. Yeah, actually I have a dragon character, so I should probably like learn how to do cool things with his shapes. Because right now he just kind of does the same pose all the time. So I gotta... Oh my dog, yes! Oh, I love these. Oh my gosh! Oh, wow. Can you share your character? Uh, links are not allowed, unfortunately, but... Uh, you could show me on Twitter. Very cool. What's this? Oh, Nature Cat. I've seen a little bit of this show. It's got some recognizable voice actors, but I do like the art style of it. Damn, look at this. That's so cool. Oh, yeah, but yeah. He was the character designer for Scaredy Squirrel, the Canadian cartoon. And there's some, like, characters on the show that I love the style for. Like, look at this guy. Look at this little alligator guy. And look at this cat. And there's other... There's, like, a wolf guy that looks exactly like something I would draw. I've drawn him before, but I don't think he's... I don't think I can easily find him. But... Yep, so this character artist is definitely an influence. And even more so now that I've gone through some pages of this. Wow. Thank you so much for asking that question, Disco. Have you ever started with a silhouette instead of lines? I mean, I kind of partially do that sometimes. Like, so usually whenever I start a picture, I always start with the head shape. Because the head shape basically helps me determine, like, where the character will go, if that makes sense. So... So, this is how I do it. So I draw eyes, and let's just say he's looking over here, right? And then erase. Well, you don't have to erase that yet. But yeah, from here I can like decide like where his stuff goes. Yeah, so he's got like not that shape, but he's got like some shapes going on, like shapes or whatever. I don't know. And then from there is kind of. I just kind of ad lib sometimes with my shapes. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. But I should definitely try doing like silhouette stuff first. I think that'd be fun. Like just. Yeah, look at that. That's cute. Hey, Dog King. How you doing? How you doing, Gabby? 
Gabba Dabba. And you're really trying to nail down the shapes for a full body, like to draw really small block and solid shapes. Oh, well, yeah, in that case, I kind of do that for, like, when I'm drawing, like, full bodies and stuff. So, like, again, I'm using this character as an example, but, like, yeah, after I guess I draw the head, then it's like, all right, well, how do I draw the body? Let me just, uh, I don't know. Let's do something like this. And then it's figure out where the hell his shapes are gonna go. Like, you know what? Shapes gonna go like that. Oh, look at that! I just, I just drew him again. It's so crazy. Actually, funny enough, with how much I've been drawing over this picture, I'm basically like redlining it without even realizing it. That's funny. Anyway, imagine knowing how to draw. Uh, I wish I knew how to draw, honestly. Yeah, sometimes I just have, like, really good days where, like, my brain can, like, just draw shapes. And then other days, I just, I don't know, I just kind of, just like, ugh. I don't know. <laughs> you can tell this is the end of my night, I think. He, hey, he's walking here. He's walking here. Get out of here, other guy. Yeah, get out of here. He's walking here. Oops. You know what? Yeah, bad art days happen, but sometimes you just have to draw out anyway, even when you have the bad art days. That's some, that's some advice that I wish I could take. I'm not going to take my own advice, but you know what? Advice and some cold rice. Oh yeah, I'm walking here. Better watch out. If I was, if I had to draw on a day where I wasn't feeling it, um, it really just depends. Like, sometimes I'll try to draw, and if I just can't draw, and if I have some, like, just, like, commissions I can still work on, then I'll just be like, alright, you know what, I'm gonna spend today, uh, inking this picture. That way I can color it later, you know? So... Damn, I like shapes. Shapes are cool. Look at this guy. Bad art day is better than no art day. You know what? You're right. That that's that has that is actually some really good advice now that I think about it. Yeah. I really, well, okay, right now I'm not in an art block, thank dog, but usually whenever I fall into my, uh, my art block, I guess I can call it, uh, I just don't, like, get motivation for streaming, and the thing I have to, like, force myself to do is, like, start playing a game, because usually I just edit all day. Like, if I'm not feeling like drawing and I can't draw and I'm in, a, in an art block, I just edit, so, like... In a way, that is productive. It's just not like, it's not gonna make me money. So yeah, I guess in a sense, it's also not productive, but yeah, anyway, I, I got completely sidetracked. I was gonna fix something here. Yeah, so this is in the right direction, but
Also, sorry if I'm missing a lot of messages. I don't mean to. Uh... Do I use a stylus to draw or do I use a mouse? I use a stylus. If, if I was drawing with the mouse, it would look like this. Actually, this mouse is a little bit harder to draw with, but... Oh, I guess I'm drawing Skunk Dad again, huh? Yeah, so that's, uh, that's mouse, and this is tablet. Okay, that's awful, but you know what I mean. Oh, shit. What shit? Yeah. I should do mouse commissions, honestly? I mean, I've done it before. Uh, 2019, on April 1st, I did a high doodle stream where I used my mouse to draw. And I made money. I think it was like $10 per doodle. So, that's good. But. Now do it with a mouse pad. Oh, yeah, of course. Let me just. Ugh. Oh, I almost, don't do that. Oh, my God. I almost. If I spilt that water on my computer, I would cry. Draw with one of those old laptop nipples. You know what? I've only... I've only used one of those one time ever. It was on a friend's laptop. He had like one of those touchscreen laptops. But like it had uh... Like the ancient like little button that you like move forward. That was really weird to control. But it worked. I mean, it worked. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I've been streaming for like over seven hours collectively today. Well, my today. Uh, all right, I need to. You know what? I think I might actually end it here because I'm not even sure how to fix this one yet. So I think if I come back to it later, I'll be like, oh, I know what to do. And then I fix it up and bam. But yeah, pretty much, I, this was a good sketch day. So, uh, next art stream I'm doing will likely be not safe for work. So I'm gonna do that over on Picardo. Um, as for next game stream, I don't know when I'm gonna do that either, but I do wanna play more Pipo Saru or maybe Tomb Raider Game Boy Color, who knows? I'll do something, uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, you never know. Um, and of course, I have a YouTube channel where videos are scheduled to upload three times a week. Uh, I'm also actively editing stuff currently from 2019. So yeah, expect more stuff. Didn't realize, yeah, I follow you on Twitter. And I think I follow you on Twitch. Well, I've rated you a few times at least. Yeah, I know who you are. I see your art. You got, you got some good art, bro. I like the... Uh, I like the dragon man you drew um, in your latest picture. You drew uh, a hot dragon man, and I was like, wowie, wow, wow. I like him. Oh, also, before I go, let me show off these cool drawings. So, Wolfman, or sorry, wolf, I got Wolfman on my, on my mind. Uh, no, this is uh, Skunk Dad. Skunk Dad. Oh, that's another Skunk Dad right there. And uh, here's a skunk dad. Actually, I love this one a lot. This one's very good. And there's that practice. It's a something. It's also a something. And this is also something. All right. Yeah, I'm getting really distracted. Okay, I need to, I think I should. <laughs> oh, he was a gator. Oh, my bad, my bad. No, yeah, I was talking about the one with the uh, the chest fluff. It was a good. I thought it was a dragon. Maybe okay. You know what? I'm wrong. I'm wrong. He was a gator. The gator with the chest fluff. Love it. Love him. Beautiful. Beautiful picture. Oh yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, let me find somebody to raid because I need to use the restroom now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna find an art streamer. Oh, there's me. When blame me? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let me. Who else is? Oh, uh, Cap Roller Bear is streaming. I don't know what they're streaming. Art. Or maybe it's... Or maybe they just ended? I'm not seeing a preview here, so... Oh, that's just Twitch. Okay. Yeah, I think... Or we can raid Carebrew again. You know what? Let's raid Carebrew again. He's still streaming. Alright. Guys, I already gave you my outro. Uh, I love you guys. I need to use the restroom. And I did a really good art today. And I'm open for s commissions uh, right now. So I need I need to pay that rent money for next month. Yeah. yeah. All right. I love you guys. I'm gonna raid Care Brew. And I love you. Oh wait, no. It's it's starting in ten seconds. Okay. Have a good one. Love all the drawings you did. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the advice. Oh, yeah, no worries. I, I'm, I'm glad my advice somewhat made sense. I know I rambled a lot. I'm, I mentioned earlier, I'm a little bit high, so. But yeah. Uh, yep, yeah, alright. Good night, everyone. Love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.